thanks for staying with us on the Sports Back Zone. The Caribbean is home to some of the most talented footballers in the world, and that talent, when discovered early, can be nurtured and developed to position players on the global field. For this reason, the Game of Life Foundation, GOL, will be hosting the first staging of the All Peace Knockout Games on Saturday, March 4, at the Barbican Football Club Mini Turf in Kingston. Here, 16 teams from primary and prep schools within the corporate area will compete for a share of the many prizes to be won, as well as bragging rights for years to come. Joining us to preview this exciting football showdown is co-founder of the Game of Life Foundation, Shamal Thomas. Welcome to the Sports Max Zone, Shamal. Thank you for having me. Good All right. Evening. You're welcome. So I think it's fitting I ask you to just tell me a bit about the Game of Life Foundation, you know, when it started, why was it started? So um, playing as a, as a footballer myself, I grew up playing football, right? But there was no, there was no institution like Game of Life that went around and gave football equipment to schools or the kids at the primary school level, right? So I remember a few years ago, a friend of mine, he received a scholarship to the University of Nebraska where he met a friend. Her name is Monica Bosilevac. She's the executive director of a foundation there called Football for the World. So they made a trip here to Jamaica to make some donations to our primary school. And I thought, instead of you guys having to come here every year to make donations, why not just start a non-profit organization? And you can filter the, 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 the equipment here to us and we will make the donations. So that happened in 2015. And since 2015, we've managed to make over 50 donations of football equipment to primary schools across the island. Two of those with two of those donations coming in Barbados to a primary school and an orphanage there. And that is to show our intention of how much we want to not only impact Jamaica with our, um, our programs and our projects, but also other Caribbean islands, right? Um, so for Game of Life, we also have the educational arm of the program that we call the Game of Life Student Athlete Program, GOSAP for short. And that's where we invite this same student at least to a specific venue and we help them prepare for their PEP exams. In addition to that, we have the Game of Life Football for the World Kiddies Clinic. And that's where we invite all the student at least, all the players, boys and girls, to also a specific venue. And we invite coaches from the high school level to come and recruit players for high school teams. And um, we have our ultimate charity event that we call the Game of Life Charity Games which sees a full day of football. It's almost like the champs of football, where we have six games being played, a under 12 for girls, a under 12 for boys, a women's game which feature um, professional players from the United States and college players, and we have them play among, play against our best women here locally. We have a Legends versus Celebrity game, which has featured the likes of Bibi Gardner, Ian Pepe Goodison, yeah. and Low and Walter Boy to name a few. And we have an all man versus all the cost the cost of cup game played on that day as well. And finally, the Dominic Darian game, which features our ambassadors as friend and friends. So as ambassadors for the Game of Life Foundation, we have we've had rather Amal Knight, Damian Low, Andre Blake, Rafik Bryan, Junior Flemings, Alanda Brown. O'Neill Fisher and Devon Speedy Williams. And we use these men as figures or more like role models for the younger generation coming up to be like, hey, I came from the same background that you guys did and look where I'm at now. Right. So in essence, that's really what Game of Life is about. That's what we've done since we started in 2015. And Game of Life All Peace Knockout is our latest initiative right. under the umbrella of Game of Life Foundation. Yeah, of course, brilliant work by you and, of course, the entire team. What are some of the Thank excitement you. that we can expect on Saturday? Some of the prizes that will be on show? You know, what are we to expect? So, really, this, this tournament is, is mainly about development rather than it is about winning. But we will also compensate the winners for their efforts. So, trophies and medals will be handed out um, by the Dominic James Foundation to the, the first, second and third place teams. Boot bags 
which is also a non-profit organization, will be donating 15 boot bags to the winning team. Sub Sports will be providing the MVP and the leading goal scorer with a pair of boots, and the goalkeeper of the tournament will receive a pair of gloves. Also, the MVP, the leading goal scorer, and the goalkeeper of the tournament will be receiving a, a, a jersey of choice, club or country, from Rosie Sportswear, and the MVP of the tournament will be receiving a $10,000 book voucher from Pro Books and Beyond, which is a bookstore. So for patrons coming to the event, Colgate Palmolive will be handing out products upon entry, yeah. and Nestle will, all look, will also be there giving out products as well. So that's, that's the rundown of the day. All right. Well, you know, of course, we commend you on the good work and we encourage you to continue because this is exactly what the youngsters need and this is exactly the direction that they need to be heading. So we look forward to finding out who the winners are come Monday. Yeah, most <laughs> definitely. All so right. upon entry for the event, $500 for adults and $300 for children. So come out and watch a good day of football and cheer on the, gen the next generation of footballers that we have here at the island. Right, and you heard it from Shamal himself. All the action will be taking place at the Barbican Football Club Mini Turf in Kingston. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we have a lot more just for you. Thank you so much, Shamal. Thank you very much for having me and have a good evening. Yeah. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment. <laughs>